this is Haley from modelandrabbits.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my grooming kit. So this is my grooming kit. It's in the same container as my emergency kit, uh, the first one I showed you. And uh, this is just everything that I use to groom my bunnies and keep them maintained. Uh, but obviously it's very important for a rabbit's health to be groomed, um, to keep away mats. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Furminator. This is a really good brush. I think it works really great. So definitely pick one of these up if you guys don't have one already. Um, this is the Hair Buster. This is another really good brush that I enjoy using. Some rabbits don't like it because it can feel like it pulls a little bit more, so you have to be very careful when you're using it. I also have this brush. I don't remember the name of it, but I will leave it down in the description if you guys want to buy it. Um, this is a very gen more gentle brush compared to the Hair Buster, and uh, it doesn't get as much fur out, but it is a lot more gentle. Uh, and then I just have these two grooming scissors. Uh, they're two different lengths and they're full of rabbit hair. So they just have dulled tips on top, which is really good so that you don't like stab the rabbit. So it's really good because it's dull tipped um, so that if you're cutting them and they move, it's not gonna like stab into them. So that's why I really like these. These can be used to trim around their butt area, especially for elderly rabbits who aren't able to keep themselves clean down there. Um, you can just snip the fur nice and short so that you know, it doesn't get all messy and crazy. Uh, so then the next thing, I also have a clicker. This has nothing to do with grooming, but that's where I keep my clicker. So it's in there. Uh, next is Q-tips. I use Q-tips for my rabbits to clean out their scent glands. Um, I don't think I've ever really used it for anything else, but it's really helpful. A lot of people were wondering in my last video, which I'll leave in the I card up above, they were wondering if cleaning scent glands is something you have to do. And in my opinion, it doesn't need to be done like every single month, but I would say definitely keep an eye on them. So look in the scent glands, basically, um, next to the anus, you kind of pull it apart and you can look inside. If the stuff inside the scent glands is nice and moist and not really bothering anything, I wouldn't say you necessarily have to clean them, but what can happen is the scent glands can get really hard and crusty and crusted shut. So that is actually hard to like open the scent glands. And in that case, yes, they do need to be cleaned out because that means your rabbit isn't able to clean them out themselves. So yeah. I honestly don't clean them that often, but um, if it's hard and crusty, it definitely needs to be cleaned. Next, I have this brush. Uh, this People ask me where I get it all the time. When I was like 10 years old, I was a part of a book club, a horse book club, and I got sent books in the mail once a month, and this came with it. It's like a little horse curry comb, but it's like really soft bristles. Um, I really like it, and I think it works really well, but they do sell dog brushes like this. Uh, just look for anything like rubber bristled, um, and it's basically the same thing. Uh, next are nail clippers. These are just like $2, $3 cat nail clippers. Um, basically, they just have a curved, um, scissor part there so that it doesn't crush the nail. So that's why you should never use human nail clippers on rabbits because it is flat and it will crush the nail when you clip it. Uh, these are nice and curved so it doesn't damage the nail. Um, that's it for the top. I also have some of these things. They're just binder clips. I don't know why they're in here but they are. Um, and on the bottom, the only things I have are cotton pads, and I just use cotton pads as well when cleaning out scent glands. I just wet them down, and I just find it easier to clean with them. I don't know. So those and Q-tips are what I use to clean scent glands. Um, but yeah, that's it in my grooming supplies. Uh, so that's kind of it for everything. Basically, there is a hair. Oh, it's a reflection. <laughs> or anything, like it's not gonna hurt them. Like, oh, what am I doing? Especially is um, there's rabbit hair everywhere. 